Good afternoon, my dear students. Myself, uh, D. Sudha, Assistant Professor from Department of Chemistry. I'm here to handle an interesting and innovative topic to make the learning very easier and enjoyable for you. Fine. Before, before starting the topic. What is the innovative topic? Innovative means something new. Which you can. invented it? Yes, for my subject, I invented it. <coughs> so, before telling me the title, let me give you a task. Check whether you can find out. So this is one of the important topic in electrochemistry, which finds more applications in industry and also in research. It is a kind of reference table which we use for finding the standard electrode potential of different metals. Okay, fine. It will be better. I am showing the two metals. Hope you have studied this in your lower class. Can you guess what is this metal? Copper. Copper. Fine. This one. I okay. Student, so I am giving you these two metals and telling you to construct a battery. What will you do? First of all, you should know battery contains two components. You have studied in your class, anode and cathode. You should know which will act as anode and which will act as cathode. So for the we have the table. That is what we are going to discuss today. Fine? Can you guess what is the topic? Satya, can you guess something related? Electric circuit. Yes, wonderful. Exactly. It is electrochemical series or EMF series. Okay, just a small appreciation. I can give you. Thank you. So it is electrochemical series or EMF series. Electro. You can make a note of it. Electrochemical series. So the general objective you should know before learning to inculcate knowledge about electrochemical series is the general objective and specific objective you should know whether the metal act as anode or cathode and you should know which metal will act as anode and which metal will act as cathode which will undergo oxidation and which will undergo reduction fine then you can calculate the emf of the cell also using this table also while constructing the battery as i told at the end of the class you can tell which metal will act as anode and which metal will act as cathode and you can construct a battery with these two metals. So that is the objective of this session. Fine. Coming to the topic, what is electrochemical series? So here it is a kind of table or a series where all the metals are arranged in the increasing order, increasing, I repeat, in the increasing order of their standard reduction potential value with respect to hydrogen scale. With respect to hydrogen scale, all the metals are arranged in the increasing order. Then this series we call it as electrochemical series. It was given by Alexander Volta in 1850. Yes, yes, this is the series which we are going to discuss today. It is a table which contains all the metals. Actually, it is a big table. For our session, we are going to discuss the 10 metals and I will tell you how to remember this in an easier way. Okay? Fine. So the first column deals with the metal or electrode and the second column shows the electrode reaction and the third column shows the enol electrode potential value its unit is volts and the fourth column represents the nature of the metal so to make this ordinary arrangement in a easier way without any confusion you can write the exam also you can tell which method will come first and which method will come last or in between second or third I request you students, please just close your eyes for a few minutes and I will tell you one technique which we call it as creative visualization or right brain technique. We know that right brain is involved in creativity, visualization and all. So if you apply this and study the topic, you will remember this for lifelong. Let me try it now in our class today. Fine. Please, students, close your eyes. Just imagine and I will tell the instruction compare and visualize the things with the metal. First, lithium. In the year of series, we have the lithium metal. Just imagine with the things what is present in the classroom. You are entering the classroom. Please kindly close your eyes. It will be easy and interesting. Fine. So close your eyes and listen to the instruction. So you are one early morning, you are coming to the college. Now you are entering the classroom. The door is closed. So you are opening the door. The door is made up of lithium metal. Lithium door. That is the first letter you are visualizing. Second one. Next you are entering the classroom. The classroom is dark. So you are switching on the lights. The switchboard is made up of magnesium. Magnesium metal. Next, zinc. 
You are carrying the bag, package is filled, so you have to keep it on the desk. So you are coming near the desk, keeping the zinc bag on the iron desk. So third metal is zinc, zinc bag keeping on the iron desk. And you feel now ventilation. So you are going to open the windows. So imagine that windows are made up of lead metal. You are opening the windows and now you are feeling the fresh air touching your face. The air is not oxygen here. We are comparing and making the hydrogen scale. So that is hydrogen gas which is touching your face. Next is you are seeing the board. So no one is in the class. You cannot interact with your friends. You have come early. You are waiting for your friends. So meantime, you are seeing the board. The board is untidy. So what you are doing is you are going near the board. The board is made up of copper. Copper board. Imagine that board is made up of copper. Next, you are cleaning the board. Taking the duster. Imagine the duster is made up of silver metal. Recollect lithium load. Magnesium switchboard, zinc bag, iron steel table, yes, follow me, and lead window, hydrogen air, copper board, and coming to the duster now, this is silver. You are rubbing the board. Now, you have the marker. Marker is very precious. You know that they take a very good road for a teacher. So it is golden marker, golden metal AU. So you are taking the marker and writing the date day and writing the thought for the day. And now it's time, it was around 8.35, you are seeing your friends entering the classroom, comparing the friends with the fluorine, that is last metal, F, F, fluorine. Right? Is it easy to recollect? Once again, let me tell, lithium lower, magnesium switchboard, zinc bag, iron table, hydrogen air, copper board, can you follow? Copper board, duster silver, Golden marker, fluorine friends. Right? So, this is how you can write it in an order day. Can you open your eyes? Please see it. So, clear I How do you connect lithium and lower? How do you connect magnesium and switchboard? See, it, it's personally, yes. it will be easier for me to memorize that list than to remember it so many things. The students, when right. they are, most of the time, they are spending time in the classroom. I am just comparing for no, chemistry. No, lithium and lower. See. Yes. What I am trying to say is you can take this time off the yes. presentation. No worries. Yes. Uh, okay. okay. Lithium the door, if you are able to connect by some component of the door is made of lithium. Similarly, some component of the switchboard is made of magnesium. It's okay. Like you know, the desk is made of it's not iron literally, it's steel. Uh, iron and the desk, there is some correlation, correct? I think uh prof is uh, she's like to explain something. Start with the number one. Yeah. The student comes to the class. Mm -hmm. First is the door. Yeah. So the first material is lithium. Like that. What are the material? What are the things available in the so class? You have to. You have to remember yeah. one more set of yeah. data. I don't know. I you might have done some work on you know that yes. research and all that. And it was effective. But right. technically, you are right because it's never going to lithium. Never going to be a door. No. Suppose if you are able to correlate, okay. not necessarily a class yeah. one. Something yes. else. Yeah. Then it will be much easier. Since students are doing more time in the classroom and just comparing the things in the classroom and they are learning for a single concept. This thing we can apply for even for tougher topics and we can apply for the things technically also. We have taken around two minutes. We can yes, give that two minutes extra. Fine. Hope it is understood for everyone. If it's so, everybody can uh, show thumbs up um, so that I can yeah. proceed. Thank you. So next one is the application. Coming to the applications of electrochemical series, we can find out which metal will undergo oxidation and which metal will undergo reduction. So metals at the top of the digits, you can see it is having negative isomer value. So it is having the lower values of reduction potential. So they have the tendency to undergo more quicker oxidation or ionization. So they will be acting as alloy. And when you see the metal below hydrogen, in the bottom of the series, it is having positive E0 value. Since it is having positive E0 value, they are having higher reduction potential. So they will be having greater tendency to undergo reduction. So they will be acting as cathode. This is how we can find out which metal will act as anode and which metal will act as cathode from the EMF series. This is one kind of application. Also, some students, you are all confusing during the exam. At anode, you are writing reduction. At cathode, you are writing oxidation. 
A simple analogy I am telling here that anode oxidation takes place, that is loss of electrons. As cathode reduction takes place, that is gain of electrons. So an ox, you can easily remember your study here, even your primary school, an ox, just remember, and reduction, red cat. And always A is, what is the sign? It is negative. And C is plus, you are studying C plus plus, just to avoid confusion, I am telling, just remember as an ox and red cat. Also remember, oxidation is loss of electrons. So loss of electrons you can write like Leo. Leo is line. How it sounds? G. That is gain of electrons. G or that is where reduction takes place. Here oxidation takes place. Loss of electron, oxidation, gain of electrons, reduction. So this is negative charge and this is positive charge. There is no red cap but just we will remember that in chemistry we have a red cap. Okay, fine. Next application. There are so many applications. Just today we are discussing two applications. Consider this for Daniel cell. We have two electrodes, copper and zinc. So copper, since it is having high positive E0 value, it is acting as cathode because it can undergo high tendency for reduction. Next, zinc. Zinc is having negative value. So it is having uh, the tendency to undergo oxidation. So that will act as anode. So this is the application. Likewise, we can calculate the EMF of a cell, that is electromotive force of a cell can be calculated using the EMF series. For electromotive force, what do we need? Can anyone tell? What do we need? E0. We have studied in the previous class. E0 value, that is standard reduction potential value we need. So, the EMF can be calculated by the formula E0 of the right hand electrode minus E0 of the left hand electrode. So that's why in the right hand we have the copper and in the left hand we have the zinc. So when you substitute the values, E0 value for copper and E0 value for zinc, automatically you get the EMF value. E0 value of copper, you go and refer the EMF series. So it is minus 0 0.76. For E0 value of zinc, go and refer the electrode potential in EMF series, the table. So it is 0 0.34. So it is 1.11. So this is the EMF of a Daniel cell. Likewise, you can calculate EMF of any cell using this EMF series. So this is one of the applications. For example, if I swap the material, what happens? The, the material it will not work out. It will not give voltage. No, swap means <coughs> what? Yeah. Zinc, you are telling zinc as? No, instead of? Instead of uh, zinc uh, here yeah. and uh, yeah. copper. Then it is having only tendency to undergo oxidation. It will go only oxidation, it will undergo only reduction. So, with uh, your exchanging, you are trying for, if you are trying this for oxidation, if you are trying this for reduction, oh. Because it said a specific term like right and left, that's why I was able to learn maybe from electrical field, so how the EMF can be calculated based on right and left, I don't know. Yes, yes. My general, general, because EMF is a potential Are the itself is to be avoided? Yeah. No, just I say it was a board. Nothing for right hand and left hand. Yes. Left hand. Cathode minus anode minus. Cathode 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 minus.
From that, we can now tell how to construct the battery. So, you can see high metal which is present in the top of the series and copper which is present at the bottom of the series. You can see in the table. So, now you can tell this will be acting as copper which is present at the bottom will be acting as cathode and iron metal will be acting as iron. So, this is how you can find and invent a new constructor battery setup of your own. Fine. So, these are the classroom activities we have done so far mind map, creating visualization, and with the teamwork we have done. Also, we had Kahoot. So, this online class we can play very well. Education in a funny way. Okay, a small test to check your understanding. Just tell me, can anyone, what is the third metal present in the electrochemical series? Third metal. They collect it. Option A, lithium. Option B, zinc. Option C, iron. Option D, lead. Very good, wonderful. So, excellent, sir. So, um, good. It is lip. Zinc, you know. Zinc. Zinc, yes. Wonderful. Good. Happy. So, these are the references I have. You can have this book, standard books, Jane and Jane, Science Direct Journals, online courses, and questions for learning. You can learn further, further learning, define electrochemical series, then applications of electrochemical series and explanation. And uh, like uh, two marks, they can ask zinc and reverse oxidation when copper does not give justification. These are the questions they will ask. Thank you all for your patient listening, students. Good. Just an assessment. I have given a QR code scanner. Just since you are all uh, always handing your mobile phone, having your mobile phone, just scan it. And a small assessment is there. Just two MCQs, two feedbacks. And last one, if you have any queries, you can ask in that. If you are feeling uncomfortable to ask here, you can feel you can fill that in that Google form and you can ask me. Fine. Then you can approach me in through my mail ID or through my contact number. Or you can have the Google Classroom. I have the code here. You can join it for the material. Also, you can watch my lecture videos in my YouTube channel, Sudha's Classroom, where you can see any video lectures. And if you have any queries, you can please keep to contact me. happy just I am giving you a sticky notes. If you give a smiley, it is good. If it is average, you can give this emoji. And if it is bad, you can just and just put this on the notice board. And evening when I come, you I will check it whether it is good, bad or average.